Hey Jeff, how's it going? You need to realize something. People are terrified of a Trump presidency with a number of good reasons. There is a practice that I'm still trying to figure out what the name of it is, where a business will buy a bunch of other businesses so they can basically basically dismantle them, right? And I forget what the term is called. But Trump knows this sort of thing pretty well. If you're in the business as long as he has been in the business. And there are a number of departments that Republicans have wanted to get rid of for a long time. Like the... Uh, the Environmental Protection Agency, uh, the Department of Education, a whole number of others Republicans have wanted to get rid of. And if you look at the people that Trump wants in the, uh, as the management of those departments, um, you'd kind of go, wow, that's, that kind of looks like the thing that uh, businesses do to dismantle a company. Um, you know, like putting someone who doesn't believe in climate change as the head of the, the EPA. I, I'm sorry, that's, that's insane. And pretty much all of the departments that the, the Republicans would like to shut down, he has someone of that kind of nature as the head of those departments. So... There are significant reasons why people are concerned. Because Trump can bypass the House and Congress with that kind of thing. So, you know, if you think uh, so many important departments in the United States government just basically being dismantled is not something to be concerned about, I... I I don't know what to tell you exactly. Um, just just do some research into the people that he's put on his cabinets or is wanting on his cabinets. Um, but when it comes to the Russia thing, yeah, it's it's quite. A, the people are really really pushing some scare tactics. Um, when he said scum, it was just like, wow, that's over the top. When, when Keith Olber Oberman said scum, it was just like, wow, dude, that's just, you've, you've, you've kind of lost it. <laughs> um, and someone else, uh, I think it was SJW 101. I think he's the one that said this. He was like, man, this would have been cool to put a, a, a 50s, a 1950s, uh, uh, newsreel sort of look to it. Make it black and white and, and just kind of do some things to the quality of it, add some pops and flutter and all that sort of stuff in it, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it just very much seemed like that. It, it, it was kind of scary. Um, and again, I, I normally liked Keith Olbermann, but when he did that, I was just, man, I, like I said, I just I had just posted some things from him on Facebook and Google+. And then he turns around and does this. I'm like, oh, geez. So, yeah, it really disappointed me. But I do think there are some things we should be, at least have concern over when it comes to Russia. Don't be like, I believe they're the ones that do this. No, just the CIA is saying, saying these things. You know, let's look at it as a possibility. That doesn't mean look at it, oh, that's what it is. No, no, let's look at it as a possibility, you know, um, and increase that possibility the more, uh, the more data we get about it, right? The more facts we get, the more evidence we get. So, but, you know, I understand why people are so concerned about a Trump presidency. Um, and I understand why some people would go to some real lows to try to make Trump no longer president. 
Unfortunately, I think Trump is probably going to, to need more security and bodyguards than he ever has, than, than any, obviously than he ever has, but, uh, but more than any other president we've had. Because I think there, there are just going to be hundreds, if not thousands of people out there wanting to kill him. That's how I really feel about this. Is it something I would do? No. Is that something I would condone? No. That's a terrible way for to, to get rid of a president. That's terrible. So when people are taking these, these lows and saying, it's the Russians, you know, I, I, I understand it. I, I don't, I'm not going to condone it unless there's actual proof that the Russians have actually done anything. But I certainly understand it. I'm very concerned about this country over just the next year. Are we even going to recognize it? If Trump really does put these people on this, that he wants on his cabinet and wants certain people to head uh, uh, different departments of the government, um, I, I don't see how we're going to even recognize this country in a year. So, and you can say that's hype if you want, but look at Trump's background and look at what uh, Republicans have wanted for a long time. 